And good morning, Mid-Missouri. I'm Brian Johnson. Here's a look at what's happening on your Thursday morning. In Jefferson City, the friends and family members of Sarah Gibney will gather this evening by the Norin boat ramp. The boat ramp is where Gibney is believed to have been swept away by the Missouri River last week. Friends and family members will be releasing balloons at 6 p.m. Two people are dead after a car accident in Cole County Wednesday morning. The accident happened as Damian Bryan of Jefferson City attempted to cross Route C. The oncoming car overturned and struck a third vehicle. The driver of the third vehicle, Donald Edwards of Russellville, was pronounced dead on the scene. The driver of the second vehicle, Joanne Hamilton of Len Lenoxa, Kansas, was also hospitalized and pronounced dead as well. Republican Congresswoman Vicki Hartzler will have a busy day in Jefferson City today. More than 1,500 postcards will be delivered to her office at 10, urging her to tell Congress to protect Social Security, Medicare, and Medicaid from any cuts. The postcard deluge is an effort by the liberal group GROW. Then at 3 p.m., she'll present the Civilian Markmanship Program Patriot Award to Don Henches of California, Missouri. The CMP Patriot Award recognizes outstanding veterans for their contributions to our country. Senator Claire McCaskill will be in Columbia today to announce new legislation at protecting American jobs from being shipped overseas. McCaskill will speak at 1 this afternoon at MBS Textbooks as part of her Missouri Manufacturing Jobs Tour. She'll speak about legislation that would increase transparency for consumers and encourage companies to keep call centers in the U.S. That's all for now. The Today Show is back after this. My